Hello friends, uh, before you run screaming, because this is not mounted on a motorcycle, um, I'm hoping to do this as a two-part video, the first of which is going to be from the car perspective, the second of which will be uh, from the motorcycle perspective. Um, today we got to go get us some ethanol. So the subject of the video is the unspoken but definitely felt and experienced animosity uh, between motorcyclists and the regular drivers in vehicles on the road. Um, we all see it and feel it every single day and I think it would be useful to cover it from the perspective of the drivers as well because I, I don't have like a necessarily unique perspective but I have at times uh, ridden, you know, daily a motorcycle, at times daily only a car and currently I have both. Uh, so I definitely have a perspective and that's what I'm hoping to share in the video. So the subject for today is why motorcyclists are hated by car drivers. The number one reason is, you know, that sense of entitlement. Yes, definitely uh, car drivers do not give enough leeway and respect to motorcyclists. That's true. Uh, they, do not, they do not seem to respect how dangerous uh, this is from our point of view and our perspective. They don't always give us enough room. They don't necessarily respect us when we're placed in lanes. Uh, they do some questionable passes. They lead in on us. That's true. All very true. Um, but I think for motorcyclists, there is a sense of entitlement. Um, as if by risking, as if by making the choice to risk our life, uh, we are, we deserve some extra amount of respect. Like, like we deserve to be treated like special little snowflakes. And this isn't every rider. If this isn't you, if this isn't you, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to trigger some people, but sometimes a motorcyclist can feel like they're being attacked when they're not. They can feel like somebody's doing something to on purpose target them when they're not. It's important to, you know, don't attribute to malice what can be attributed to ignorance. You know, drivers, motorcyclists of all shapes and sizes all make mistakes. Um, and a person isn't necessarily targeting you when they make a mistake in your general direction or vicinity. Damn. It's a beast of a bike, bro. Shit. We have a history of interactions and, you know, that guy cut you off and this guy didn't signal and came into your lane and this guy started pulling out and we can start to feel like this victim mentality as if we are being targeted, as if everything is about us. And it's entirely possible that these are isolated incidents in these people's lives where they have something going on. They're either, you know, are they distracted or they just simply make a human error, human mistake. It's important to give a little bit of understanding so that somebody's simple mistake is not what's just gonna set you off on a war path, making a mistake, hurting somebody, hurting yourself over what was a simple error. And I think that's a sense of entitlement, as if no one can make a mistake around us because I'm a motorcyclist. Like it doesn't make you special, everybody has the right to the road and everybody makes mistakes. And so when a person makes a small mistake and the motorcyclist then overreacts or reacts in a way that, you know, they, you know, break their uh, mirrors off or, or they slam their car. Okay, you've just enraged a person in a 5,000 pound weapon. Not something I would recommend because if they show the same kind of rage right back at you, you're probably dead, honestly dead. Like this is all it takes for them to kill you. Uh, you don't want to be in that situation and sometimes they're minding their business doing the speed limit and then a motorcyclist you know goes around them flicking them off this entitlement can cause you to be mad and acting out and being aggressive towards people who don't deserve it and over the years as a car driver having this happen around them seeing how motorcyclists can act seeing how some of them are aggressive it can put a bad taste in their mouth for motorcyclists in general and without that sense of entitlement i don't believe this would happen as regularly this leads into my second point uh, number two it's just the general lawlessness that motorcyclists can partake in um, I, I get it it's a cheap way to see supercar power you know, it's a, you know, the visceral experience of the ride. 
but it's it's really commonplace to see a motorcyclist doing you know 90 miles an hour in the fast lane 120 miles an hour in the fast lane not doing a pull just sustaining those kind of speeds it's dangerous uh, in some countries you know motorcycle thieves are a big issue you know, robbing people, stealing things, jumping off the bike, doing some crime, either, you know, stealing something and running away or getting back on the bike with what you've stolen. Uh, these are all commonplace. And uh, not all of it, I won't say it's all deserved, you know, the iconic image of a biker with chains and a bat and going to war and, you know, the gang mentality. Um, it's all a lot of things that are played out at this point, but it's still a connotation that some people have in their mind. And then when you see a biker going down the road, you know, breaking the law, speeding. I saw a guy earlier this morning, just like a person is at a stop sign, the person goes through it, he just like follows them behind. It's like, dude, just, just why? <laughs> like, what is the fucking point? Just breaking the law for no reason. And just like where motorcycles can feel like they're targeted because it's so common that people are doing stupid shit and dangerous shit around them. Car drivers see so few motorcyclists and if a large majority or all of them are breaking the law and speeding, it's easy to feel disrespected by the entire group of people who are motorcyclists and just honestly hate them. And that's how it starts. A simple solution to this is just being more respectful. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm guilty of this myself. You know, I like to have fun. I like to do pulls and everything, but I try to do it away from cars. And I'm not always perfect and I'm not expecting anybody to be, but the way we can avoid people having this negative connotation is just having our fun away from them. Honestly, you're gonna get cop attention. You're not gonna get anybody calling the law. The peepaws are not gonna be watching you and mad and, and this is better for you. Number three, this is really prevalent and uh, I think relevant you know some people won't admit to it some people will and it's just there is an aspect of jealousy there honestly um you know you're going by you're clearly having a good time uh how i know this sets people off i don't know if you guys have ever just you're just having a great day a great morning things are going right you got some good news last night you walk into work with a smile on your face and bro the crabs come out they gotta they gotta razz you they gotta make fun of you. They gotta try to bring you down. Nothing pisses people off more than somebody having a great day. And honestly, they look at you on your motorcycle, you're free, you're having too good of a time. They can tell, they gotta bring you, to, they hate you for that. I'm t I see this all the time. They, these drivers stop at a stoplight, they look to their right, and here you are on your motorcycle doing the Macarena. It's gonna piss them off, it's gonna set some of them off. Some people, it's contagious, right? They see you having a good time. They say, that's awesome. They're laughing. You just made their day better. But some people, like I said, it's going to ruin their day, ruin their good time. They weren't even having a good time on it. Let's be honest. They're actually totally miserable. And you just reminded them how miserable they are by being so happy. And there's not a whole lot you can do about this. I don't have any real solution for this one. You know, these people, a lot of people are just miserable and you having a good time, you having freedom, you clearly displaying that you have a significant enough income to have a toy that you just have for you to enjoy and ride around. It's gonna piss some people off, man. You're not gonna please these people. I don't have an escape plan. It's just important to be mindful that, you know, if you're having too good of a time, that's gonna, that can be dangerous and can set some of these crabs off. They're gonna wanna rev at you. They're gonna wanna do their fucking roll coal diesel bullshit. They're gonna wanna scream some obscenities at you. Again, they're just miserable people, guys. So don't let that set you off. And then you're pissed off and then you do some of these, uh, you do some lawless behavior or you make some mistakes in front of another driver or you endanger somebody's grandma, right? So just let these fall by the wayside. Understand that some people are just miserable and don't let them bring you down. Don't let the crabs win, guys. This is number four or five. I'm not sure what number we're on. Uh, but I think distractions is a big part of it. Some people, I mean, you can, I'm sure you've looked over at somebody and their eyes are completely wide. They're sitting right on top of the steering wheel and dude, they're just barely getting by. Like the act of driving alone is pushing them pretty far. <laughs> it's using all of their attention. They don't have anything else. And for these drivers, you know, when we come by with our loud exhaust, we've got 
you know, bright lights. Uh, we're, you know, sometimes weaving, you know, we want to warm up our tires. This can be a distraction for them. And, you know, it, that distraction makes them nervous. And it's really easy to go from being a little nervous to being angry. Every time a biker goes by me, they make me so angry. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like it's an illegitimate reason. It's just, you know, these people are just barely getting by. One thing I see all the time, no blinker use. Changing lanes willy nilly as you see fit. Try that in a small town. You know, they're 70 something years old. They've never been a good driver and over their lifetime, they've slowly regressed in their driving skills. They're just not capable physically or, and sometimes mentally. And so sometimes, you know, distracting these people can push them over the edge, uh, get them really angry. Doesn't mean we deserve it. Doesn't mean there's anything we can do, but it's again, important just to be mindful. Uh, the last thing I wanna say is, I know we look around and we see these people doing all this crazy stuff. It's, it's easy to believe that we are so important. We are the center of attention. We are all that matters. It's easy to get wrapped up in our world, but I think it's important to realize that a lot of drivers just don't care, okay? They just don't care. They're trying to get where they're going. They're trying to get through their day. They have things on their mind and they just don't care about us. And that's why it's up to us to be defensive, to pay attention, to drive as smart and safely as possible. Because on a base level, even if they don't hate us, it's almost just as bad when they just don't give a shit. So don't get wrapped up in playing the victim and believing you're being targeted when really they just don't care. I had a friend who was like paranoid delusional, uh, believing that he was being stalked and being followed and being watched. And it's like, you know how to disprove that? Just get a motorcycle and drive down the road and have somebody pull out in front of you and realize you are totally invisible <laughs> to these people. I just want to say that to say that a lot of times it can feel like we're receiving hate, uh, like we're being the victims of, you know, violent opposition when for the most part these people just don't care guys <laughs> there definitely are people who hate bikers there are some reasons you know legitimate and illegitimate why people do hate bikers but majority of people man are just good people majority of people don't care uh, and if you're just a little bit understanding with them they're never going to push that line from apathy to hate and so whenever it is in our control when there is something that we can do to prevent that hate uh, I say we just do it, you know, pay attention to them. Don't be a complete dickhead. Don't disregard their feelings and their safety. And when they do that to us, try to be understanding and understand that they weren't necessarily trying to kill you. They're not necessarily out to get you. A lot of times they're just people making simple mistakes. So, you know, show a little respect to these drivers if you ever hope to receive respect from them. I think that's a super important point, guys. So this was my first time trying the point of view with the car. Uh, I tried it a bunch of times before, and this is the first time I've actually got a uh, angle I'm happy with. So hopefully the video comes out. And uh, just be on the lookout, guys, because the next video is gonna be part two. All right, the bastard overheated. Hardest part now is uh, getting it home without spilling them or knocking them over in a turn, but we got them in seat belts. I care about my baby. But yeah, uh, be on the lookout for the next video, guys. I want to do it from the motorcyclist perspective. Um, this is not the complete transition of the channel to car content only. Uh, I just want to, you know, I want to make some car content, obviously. I built this car. It's a hell of a lot of car, and uh, it would be a shame to just let it sit there and go to waste and not do videos on it, right? So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I'm going to talk to you guys soon. I really appreciate anybody who came from the motorcycle world and sat through this. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I really appreciate all you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Got to get my babies home now. Later, y'all.